What is up guys? Welcome back to Awesome Kids TV. Welcome back to another epic gameplay on Awesome Kids TV. We are back yet again for another super epic video. We're back for another super epic build. In one of our previous videos, we have built a extremely alien looking city on another alien planet. And honestly, it turned out pretty pretty cool. It, it turned out pretty good. We're going to add a little bit more to the build to make it more awesome. That's right, we're adding alien supports to this alien city. The next new world I'm about to make for this next achievement is going to be something... Not entirely out of the ordinary, but, uh, it's gonna be good. After this, I'm gonna be watching more Pound Puppies on Tubi. I am almost done, uh, watching the entire show. Once I finish the entire show, I guess I can probably rewatch one of the episodes and experience the Oracle... Oh, the memories I made, or I, or I could watch another show all the way to the end. <laughs> anyway, that today's theme is going to be, you guessed it, kindergarten-like world. That's right, we're making a kindergarten, like, toddler, we're making a cutie, we're making a cute and adorable world. We're making a cute and adorable fantasy world next. That is what we are going to be doing today. This was the first new world, so of course, the, n the second new world is going to be all about unicorns and stuff. <laughs> Let us get building. We have ten worlds in this series of, you know, worlds to make. This is what the bottom of this area looks like. I'll just fill it in with half uh, half obsidian and half iron to make it look ex extremely alien. There you go. Now we'll make it look like they're meeting together in uh, the middle. There you go. That kind of looks like they're meeting together. Now we got that done. We can now get to work on this fantasy land. For the fantasy land, we are going to start with the uh, ground, of course. And for the ground, I am making it pink wool. That's right. It's cotton candy grass. Because the first ever biome at this area is, of course, a cotton candy plain, plains area. <laughs> yeah, I don't even know why, but I decided to make it that exact material so that you guys don't have to be disappointed, too disappointed in my building skills. By the way, uh, after all of this, I am going to be making a new little short, a brand new AKT short with, uh, that, uh, steam, uh, tender engine, that steam tender engine I made. It's, uh, I, you can't see it, but it's laying down. It's sitting on the carpet rails there. Yeah, it's in there. I'm just waiting to make this video. 
probably like, oh boy, I, I wonder what experience he's gonna bring to us this time. I recently made that engine, so, uh, yeah. Anyway, the premise of the Con Candy, uh, forest, Plains Forest, the Con Candy Forest, the premise is, well, everything is made entirely out of con candy. Yes, I know that sounds like something paranormal, but trust me, just 100% just beyond this one. The cotton, can the cotton candy uh, forest area has literally trees made of con candy. And there's like a gummy swamp, like an edible gummy slime swamp, and a chocolate forest and everything <laughs> that has uh, dark chocolate trees. That's chocolate trees made with dark regular milk chocolate, dark white and regular cho milk chocolate, and everything. Yeah, it's a weird biome for sure. It's a weird series of biomes uh, for sure. But I don't care. Do you know why? Because I love building weird stuff with you guys. I have been building with Kinects ever since I had gotten the building toy. It's a building type, by the way. I've been doing that since I got Lego as well, and I've been building all kinds of fun creations. Like a plate, and a boat, and stuff, and a house, and even a, a, uh, a, uh, uh, and even a, um, alligator? Like an alligator? Those are my favorite creations. But pretty soon, at the end of 2022, I'm going to show you guys my favorite creation of 2000, from 2022. And, of course, it is going to look absolutely amazing once it's all done. Anyway, speaking of that, we got this creation from 2022 to showcase. And uh, we gotta showcase as fast as we can. Anyway, this is the this is the cotton candy road. The cotton candy trail. It'll lead you right to the cotton candy uh, hills of the cotton candy biome. Home of the cotton candy um, creatures. I know they're gonna look weird, but trust me, they're gonna look awesome. So for the trail, I decided to make every tree uh, kind of normal, naturally generated tree-like, and then, and of course, have them be in different angles. And, uh, of course, they're gonna get progressively bigger and bigger and bigger, as you are seeing here. I am making this tree a lot bigger. This tree is one of the bigger trees. It's one of the bigger trees <laughs> that the con candy squirrels live in. And, yes, I did, in fact, say con candy squirrels. Uh, cause, you know, uh, they're made of cotton candy. <laughs> uh, we're pretending the pink wool is, uh, cotton candy. <laughs> Imagine making a Pop Puppies reboot with Hasbro and, uh, having this kind of episode where one of the Pop Puppies characters dreams about living in a fantasy world where everything is made of candy. Con candy, cookie, doggy friendly, friendly cookies, and stuff like that. Yeah, I imagine that. Imagine one of the pound puppies for a moment 
going into their desired beautiful dreamscape. Like, uh, imagine that. Uh, in a pop up reboot if we made one, which we didn't. Alright, that's another con candy tree looking very beautiful. Here's another cotton candy tree. Very nice. Very nicely made. There we go, looking very nice. This is the beginning of the trail, by the way. But as we go further down the plane, uh, the trail, there'll be random tr place trees zooming by ya, zooming on by ya. Yeah, and there'll be like friendly neighborhood houses. But by the time you get to the very end, there'll be bushes, just con candy bushes. Until you make it to the con candy hills. So that's why I am placing trees randomly. Here's another good spot for a tree. There we go. Very nice looking. Now we're placing another tree even further down. The beginning of the trail has trees kind of next to each other, kind of next to each other. This is the tree you get to when you finally arrive at the uh, car candy um, uh, hills. <laughs> yeah, that uh that is looking uh, pretty good. At least to a smart guy like me. We're gonna make this one look as good as possible. We're making this one look good as possible. And I am trying my hardest not to get angry. Uh, when angry things come my way and uh, make me mad. I try my very best like mom is. Me and my me and our mom are trying not to curse so bad. And I failed to do so on that. Now we shall add some con kitty shrubs. Con kitty uh, shrubs and bushes. Here's a giant con candy bush, world's largest. Now we will place down a, a giant con candy bush. There's a con candy bush. Now we'll place a random ones down the road. We will have a gum drop uh, bio as well. We might put that in there. Uh, baby, uh, baby dog. Who knows? We'll put another con candy shrub right here. Con candy variants of regular shrubs, if you want to know, by the way. Uh, I, uh, I don't know where we're going. Con candy rocks? Why not? Giant con candy rocks they are weird looking of course because they're rocks <laughs> look at that we got a couple rocks and shrubs we'll get a giant one in here there you go oh my gosh look at this i just want to eat this whole, re whole realm and poop it out but i can't because i gotta get all my building permits in order. Now we shall make the cotton candy hills. We are now making the cotton candy hills. One, two, three, four, five. Five. There.
There we go. Boom! Look at that! That looks like a hill already! Or even a mountain! <laughs> Alright, enough fooling around. I have been talking less lately. Yeah, I've been doing that a lot lately. But I can't let that uh, stop, stop us from making this. It, anyway, if you guys, if you guys are subscribed to Rebecca Parham, you probably said you might have seen Disney and Pixar since I out like I have. I watched the entire movie beginning to end and oh my gosh. I freaking loved it. <laughs> I also watched Coco. It was really good. Anyway, if you guys have watched Disney and Pixar's Inside Out, you probably already know at this point that uh, every emotion in your brain has a different job. Fear's job is to keep you safe. Yes. Fear's job basically uh, is keeping you safe from things that can kill you physically, socially, and emotionally. Physical physically, emotionally, and socially. <laughs> and when we were all kids, our emotion our emotion of fear was a kid too, and of course, didn't freaking trust anything that seems scary. <laughs> Rebecca Parab's fear uh, was like that when she was a kid as well. <laughs> and uh, when it saw uh, the vacuum one time, uh, her fear. Her fear was so like, I don't, I don't trust the, the vacuum, but the guy, but the guy uh, selling candy outside of his van, now that is the key, now that is the face of trust wealthy right there. <laughs> I had to use the French accent to uh, represent fear. Guess you know, French starts with fear in Francais, starts with fear, starts with, starts with F. And fear starts with F and whatnot. We might actually be able to fit in the, uh, gummy swamp, the edible gummy slime swamp. We might actually be able to get that in there. Uh, maybe, maybe not. Who knows? Who freaky knows? Dude, who freaky knows, eh? <laughs> if we make another naturally generated world, we're not gonna get too lost. Anyway, this is looking pretty cool. This is definitely one of the coolest projects I had ever made in my life. Once we get this layer done, we're gonna add the, um, cotton candy unicorns, cotton candy bed. And, of course, we're gonna make it as pretty as we want. With our imagination. <laughs> oh, I love, uh, oh, I love Spongebob Squarepants. Yes, I'm a big fan of Spongebob. Uh, it's available on Pluto TV instead of Tubi TV. I got that app a while ago and started binge watching Pound Puppies. Uh, I started watching it to the end day by day. And once I got to the final season, the third to final season, season three, I was really starting to get the edge of, get to the, I was really starting to get, uh, to the edge of my seat. I was on the edge of my seat. I was getting a little concerned about the pop, 
about the pound puppies. Like, oh, how are these episodes going to end? How is this finale going to end? Yeah, I was all like, how on earth does the freaking show going to end? How is the show going to end? Uh, I am going to have to find out once I get to the final episode. <laughs> Once I get to once I get to the final episode, I'm gonna, uh, you know, uh, um, find out uh, how the ep how the series ends. I've been on this free season journey uh, since um uh, since uh the first episode and. Uh, from start to finish, me and the pound puppies are uh, sending our sights upon our future as a team. Getting dogs adopted, getting puppies adopted. Anyway, let's add that con candy bed. The con candy bed is actually made of rainbow color con candy sugar, uh, which is, of course, why we're going with all, all of this wool. All these colors of wool. Red on the bottom first, of course. And then or and then orange. A yellow. A green. Blue and a purple. <laughs> That's a nice looking blanket. I really want a rainbow blanket myself. And then the pink pillow. Just look at that. Mr. The Zombie, could you, could you not interrupt us? We're trying to do all, we're trying to do all of this work. I just love doing the Italian accent. Now we shall make the entrance to the gummy swamp, the edible gummy slime swamp. Gummy slump. And here we have the... Gummy Slime Swamp. Home of the edible gummy slime batches. And yes, the ground is made of slime. That's why we call it that. For reasons, I am sure. There we go. Looking pretty good, if I do say so myself. We're using slime blocks for this biome, by the way. <laughs> Alright, that is going to be it for this video. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time. Don't forget to stay tuned for the next video. Bye-bye! Boing!